I'm honored to present unto you the servant of God and general overseer, our leader, teacher, guide, messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Good evening, brothers and sisters, and friends, and to my numerous yet loyal enemies. This is again the Truth of God radio and television program that comes from First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Moreover, we thank the one God for his divine wisdom. We thank him for his perfect and infallible understanding. We thank him for being a true living God. Amen. We can never thank him enough for the greatest religion that he has ever revealed to the prophets and the apostles for our learning when he commanded them as long as many others or rather all of us to be holy Amen. God says be ye holy for I am holy and this is what we have to offer our millions of radio listeners and television viewers holiness it is a very strict disciplined way it is a way that is hated bitterly by Satan Amen. and if you have a desire in any form to walk according to that way Satan will hate you as well Amen. now when I say Satan I'm not talking about the human family mm -hmm. I'm talking about what's in the human family for no man is the devil Amen. I know that may be hard for some of us to believe, seeing the way people act, but the truth of it is, no man or woman is the devil. Amen. Satan is a spirit that has proven himself to be faithful and loyal oh, yeah. to his mission and damning all people. Oh, yeah. Amen. And God has proven to be faithful in striving or by sinning men letting them strive to live up to his principle to save others now we just want to uh, remind you to some upcoming events we just want to remind you of the announcements that brother daniel red viewers and radio listeners uh november 20th through november 26th is the combined holy convocation the combined convention of men and women our brothers and sisters Combined National Holy Convocation will take place November 20th through November 26th. Monday through Wednesday, one service. And that'll be at uh, 7 p.m. It'll be prayer going on in the afternoon beginning at 2 p.m. But services where the Word of God will be taught, that will begin at 7 p.m. Monday through Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, services will be twice that day, 12 noon and also again, 7 p.m. on Thursday and Friday. Saturday will be an early service, beginning at 4 p.m. And Sunday, as always, beginning at 11.30 and throughout the rest of the day. So you're welcome to come regardless of your race, your creed, your color what you believe, and even if you don't have no belief, mm -hmm. you're still welcome to come. In other locations, Florence, South Carolina, television viewers and radio listeners, November 11th and 12th, God willing, I'd be in your area, Florence, South Carolina, November 11th and 12th. Our church location, I believe, is 1010 Gibbs Avenue. God willing, we will be there uh, service Saturday beginning at 6 p.m. and Sunday again at 11.30. So you got a chance to come. Martinsville, Virginia. Keep tuned to the telecast. You'll soon get an address zooming across the screen. November 18th and 19th. I'm looking to be down there with my one God. Amen. I'm going to accompany him and he's going to accompany me. We're going to be down there November 18th and 19th, Martinville, Virginia. You have your place to come and ask us questions. We'll answer you from the Bible. Keep tuned. We'll give you your address, God willing, 
and the uh, very near future. Moving to the month of December, December 8th and 9th, Norfolk, Virginia. Keep tuned to the television station in your area. You that's around Hampton and Suffolk and Norfolk and round them areas and Virginia Beach and all them areas around there where preaching is at an all-time low. <laughs> you come, keep tuned. You'll soon be hearing the address where the meeting will be held in Norfolk, Virginia as well. So as time go on, uh, television viewers and radio listeners, you'll be properly informed of what is to take place in your area, also here at the headquarters temple. Uh, also, I want to remind our radio listeners in New Orleans, Louisiana, you can catch the telecast on channel 78. Now, you that hear this program, I want you to contact your family if you want them saved. If you want them saved like the Harley of Ray had. <laughs> she had to follow orders if she wanted her family saved. So, if you want your family saved, uh, the telecast will be coming in, channel 78, 5 a.m. Monday morning, and also 5 p.m. Monday evening. And again, Friday mornings at 5 a.m. And again, Friday evenings at 5 p.m. So that's four times. And, uh, and someone said, who in the world going to see a telecast 5 in the morning? The devil's up all the time. <laughs> uh, in fact, I had a, a, a call come in, two calls out of New Orleans already. The first week it was aired, and it was the 5 a.m. telecast that they caught. So uh, many is getting up, getting ready to go to work. Some folks, second wives, are getting ready and washing up to leave. And there's a lot being done at 5 a.m. in the morning. So uh, we want you to contact your relatives and turn them in. All right, television viewers, get yourself ready. As always, we give you time to move around just before I scale you with some good, tough Bible. Mm -hmm. I want to thank the uh, millions and hundreds of viewers throughout America. I want to thank every television station that's brave enough to uh, air this program without blacking it out. Amen. I say that because seeing that Philadelphia station got a problem with us. Mm -hmm. Before the program that come on before us and the program that come on after us never had no problems. Mm -hmm. Never. Amen. When we're on, the screen get black. Now I admit I'm a black man. <laughs> but I don't believe that my blackness cover every inch of the screen. They black us out, they bring static, the lines get squiggly, mm -hmm. all because of truth. Now, I don't bite my tongue, Amen. but I would say, and I am going to say to you that is doing this, and I don't care if you own the station, mm -hmm. we're not getting off. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want us off, you put us off, but we're not walking off. Amen. We're going to stay there if you want to get rid of us. Amen. You don't have to hypocrite about it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to jiggle our program around. Mm -hmm. If you got a problem with the Bible, don't ever tell no one you're a Christian program. Amen. That's right. Am I right? That's right. You see, a lot of you preachers are afraid to say what we say, yet you claim you believe the Bible. Amen. One man said we were a mixed program between a mixture of Jimmy Swaggart, oh Lord, <laughs> and the nation of Islam because I wear a bow tie. Mm. Well, what is he? Right. He don't wear no tie. 
We're not Muslim. Our religion is not Christianity like Jimmy Swaggart. That's right. Our religion is the religion of the prophets. Amen. The religion of the apostles. Mm -hmm. And the religion of God himself. That's right. So to you that say, I don't know what you are. Now if I had a necktie on, the word Islam wouldn't come out of your mouth. That's right. So, let me make it plain what our religion is. Amen. Holiness. Holiness. Let me make it plain who our God is. Jesus. That's right. Let me make it plain what we believe about the devil. Mm -hmm. We don't believe he's white or black. Amen. We believe he's that same spirit that got you fooling with our telecasts. Amen. Amen. That's what we believe. Amen. Well, this is why a lot of you folk hate us. <laughs> now we got some mail. We want to get this. Let's get the emails first. And then I got a letter again from the nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. It is time. Amen. Amen. Now let's get the email first and then <laughs> we're going to dive into some good Bible. Everybody all right? Amen. All right, I want my Shiite and Sunni Muslims who watch us uh, throughout America and hear us around the world to listen closely also. Because this will be very informative in reference to the nation of Islam and what they believe about God. Amen. All right. Uh, let's get the email first then. We'll get him. All right, Dan, let's have it. To whom it may concern. Hello, my name is Corey Craig. I am 21 years old. I'm a young black male in desperate search of truth. I'm currently in the Air Force stationed in New Jersey. I had the opportunity to view a TV program that you had on the air. I don't know who the preacher was, his name, but I thought that what he had to say was well worth listening to. I would like more information about truth. I was raised in the traditional Christian home, and as I now grow older, I realize that everything I've been taught is not true. Isn't that something? Amen. To be raised in a so-called Christian home, where he's supposed to be biblically informed, and then find out later that the information that was given to you was all lies. Amen. That's got to be disappointing. Amen. Especially when it's coming from an atmosphere that you got a confidence in, and they saying they're leading you and guiding you right in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. I don't want to go to hell. Neither do I. And I know that living by truth is the best way of life. Yes. Although I read my Bible, I don't understand what it all means, uh -huh. you know. Could you please send the information to, and he gives his name, Corey Craig, and gives his address in New Jersey. I hope that I am not writing this letter in vain, and that someone will hear my cry for help. I usually don't write TV ministers because I think a big portion of them are phony. You're absolutely right. Amen. Amen. Over 99% and three-fourths. Amen. Well, they don't leave much left, man, do it. Yeah. And let's start cutting on the remaining four. <laughs> uh, nothing but religious hustlers. Amen. And to us that know what a hustle is, it is a quick scheme put together by quick thinking men or women mm -hmm. to get money out of you. That's right. And Satan has mastered the ability to hustle in the name Jesus, right. hustle in the name Moses, hmm. hustle in the name of the prophets, mm -hmm. because people have confidence in religion. Right. So Satan will present religion, not for what it's really intended to be, That's right. but the purpose that he designed is to trick you, seduce you, con you, and then you die blind, deaf, and down with no, with no knowledge of God himself. Right. All right. I, I don't usually write TV ministries because I think a big portion of them are phony. Yeah. I don't think that from what I've witnessed about you. Uh -huh. He says, thank you and sincerely, Corey Craig in New Jersey. All right, New Jersey, wonderful letter. To whom my letter may concern, this is from Greaterford, Pennsylvania. Yeah. My name is Gerald Muhammad Johnson. All right. I am from Norristown, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. But right now at this time, I'm in Greaterford. 
but on August 6th, I watched a good program that really, really took to me. Now I don't, now I didn't get to catch the program from the beginning, but that doesn't matter. Right now is what really matters to me. Yes. Now is, if I could be a part of, not of knowledge and the truth, I must say that there has never been anyone that could move me like this brother has. As I fight to end my letter to you, my brother, I would like you to know that I will be maxing out April the 23rd. Wonderful. And I will have to start over again and I cry for help. But right now you can write to me at this address and he gives his address in Norristown. Now when I max out, I will be there. I will be here at the particular address he gave and mm -hmm. he says, Reverend, I need all the help I can get. Yes. Your brother, Gerald Johnson, Greaterford, Pennsylvania. All right, Greaterford. Thank you for that wonderful letter. All right. <laughs> An email says, Pastor Jennings, there are many, so many people who say that man evolved from a monkey. But there is another theory that says the monkey developed from man. Because of man's original sin, the monkey was created. What saith the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> the theory of evolution mm -hmm. is one of the world's greatest lies. Mm -hmm. Man evolved from eight. Now I admit man is forever monkeying around. Oh yeah. Always. <laughs> but man did not evolve from eight. The no. scripture teaches us that God made everything mm -hmm. after his own kind. His own kind. Let's get some Bible now. In Genesis chapter one, begin reading at verse twenty four. And God said, Let the earth bring forth a living creature. God said, Let the earth Bring forth, bring forth the living creature, the living creature after his kind, after his kind, cattle, cattle, and creeping thing, creeping thing, and beast of the earth, beast of the earth. That got the monkey right. after his kind. Now, <laughs> the theory of evolution is nothing but a universal lie. Amen. It's supposed to be. Eight was bent over and marked around on all fours and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And somehow there was an atmospheric change in the earth. <laughs> the climate shift. And you can see on some of the charts in schools as the monkey is bent over. Mm -hmm. Then gradually the hump reduces in the back mm -hmm. until man stands right well according to what God said mm -hmm. God made man is in his image that's right in his likeness likeness mm -hmm. so if God made man is in his image mm -hmm. and in his likeness mm -hmm. then man bears the image or the reflection of God that's right that's right and God don't look like a monkey. No, he doesn't. No. God is a spirit. Oh, That's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. But man, when God formed Adam, mm -hmm. God formed Adam, and Adam's shape symbolized the image or the form that God will manifest himself in flesh mm -hmm. and use that same shape as a pattern to leave for us in reference to salvation. That's right. So no, I didn't come from the monkey. If I take my children to any zoo in America, they're not going to visit their ancestors or their uncles or their aunts. No. They're going to visit animals. That's right. So the theory of evolution is what it is. It isn't facts. Right. It's a full theory. Amen. Because whenever you talk about creation, Whenever you talk about God, mm -hmm. your knowledge cannot exceed right. the knowledge of the prophets of the apostles. That's right. right. In fact, your knowledge must be confined That's right. to the knowledge that is given by God Himself. That's right. And because man had went to school so long mm -hmm. and did not receive the things of God, the Bible said the things of God no man knows but the Spirit of God. That's right. Then the Bible teaches us the world by wisdom, know about God, but to please God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Amen. All right. Next letter. Next email says, Pastor Jennings, does the Bible teach against marrying someone who is not of your own race? 
I am white, and my black and many black people I know believe that interracial relationships are wrong. What saith the scriptures? Good. Very, very good. Amen. Now, the white isn't better than the black. No. The black isn't better than the white. Mm -hmm. God made something out of you. Ask the question about marrying within your own race. Listen closely. Mm -hmm. If a black man marry a white woman, he marry within his own race. That's right. What race did he marry in? The human race. That's right. The only time you marry out of your race is when you marry an animal. An animal. The insect. Mm -hmm. Some type of creature. Amen. Mm -hmm. Otherwise than that, the human race is one race. Different colors and different ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. Now, you have crayons. Mm -hmm. Blue, red, yeah. brown, silver, black, green. Mm -hmm. But they all wax. That's right. That's right. That's right. And they all made by the same company. That's right. That's right. Look at what God done in the earth. Mm -hmm. White brothers, black brothers, mm -hmm. yellow brothers, Brown skin, dark skin, light skin, different colors. That's right. Made by one God. one God. I don't have a black God. No. no. My wife, she 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 says she's black, <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> All I know she's a human being. That's right. And she's a woman. A woman. So when every religion and get this good mm -hmm. is centered around your color, mm -hmm. then that religion do not represent God Himself. That's right. Now let's get our last letter mm -hmm. for this telecast. Mm -hmm. All right, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yes, this comes from mosque number twelve. Broad and Cumberland. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know there's a whole lot of you watching me. Because mm -hmm. there's a whole lot of Muslims in America that enjoy this program. Yeah. Right. And Mexico and many other places enjoy this program and respect it. But you always have an any religion or food. That's yeah. right. And then they kind of love to get a hold to. Amen. All right, get this. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In the name of Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, and in the name of his late, last and greatest messenger, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I greet you with the greetings of peace as of Assalamu Alaikum. What in the world are you doing? I listen to you preach about the legions and the pork or swine. Dear Pastor, self-appointed messenger, not God's messenger. You are the messenger of the devil, and he has in brackets white folk. They are your God. You said the Bible is not against pork. How wrong you are, and you know it. You said there's nothing wrong with catfish and possums. Catfish are unclean and possums are too. They are part of the rodent, and in brackets, rat family. But isn't it funny how you won't eat pork, rat, or possum, catfish, but won't tell other people to stay away from it because it simply is no good. What's good for the goose, he says, should be good for the gander. You are deceiving the people. For a man who claims to, be me, to have met God and he made you his messenger, he didn't show you or teach you how to eat or live. Man cannot live by bread alone. You can't live by the word of God alone either because the flesh needs to be nourished along with the spirit. There are two, the two are dependent upon one another. For one is no good without the other. So how do we nourish the body as well as the spirit? Now why is it you won't eat certain things? You are supposed to be the shepherd. If, you sheep are, if your sheep are devoured by the wolf, and he has in bracket pigs, before you know it, they are no more sheep. There are no more sheep, and he says members. Then you have to get rid of the shepherd because he is no blank good to the flock. I listened to you many times. You are telling the untruth. You are a false apostle. You never met with Jesus. You have 666 in your name. You don't know what, what your name means. You are buried or stuck in your Bible understanding, and you know I know you are an agent of the devil. <clears throat> That's why you will try your best 
you will try your best to avoid me, for you will be exposed. You said you and your followers are the true Jehovah Witnesses. That's a lie, because Gino never met Jehovah. He says more next time, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Very good letter. Amen. Amen. Wonderful letter. <laughs> this is from all right, uh, Smallwood Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Now, Smallwood, I know you're watching. <laughs> You say that I'm trying to run from you? Lord. The five percenters wrote me a letter mm -hmm. and asked me why do I bother everybody else and not them? And then once we tied into them, I didn't hear nothing. Amen. Small Lord, I tell you what, November 26th, the closing of the National Convocation here. Mm -hmm. You got a personal invitation, a televised invitation to come here in this pulpit, mm -hmm. behind this podium, and we're going to talk about the greatest subject that every religion supposed to be centered around. Amen. No need to talk about chicken and liver and hormones and rabbits that's right black and white we're not even going to talk about none of that mm -hmm. we have to get the first thing straightened out first yes and the first thing we must have knowledge of is god god amen so smile mm -hmm. you got an invitation november 26th you can bring anybody you like any ranking officer from the nation of Islam, mm -hmm. you have your place to come here. We're going to put you on television. Amen. See, folks is put on television and made famous two ways. <laughs> That's right. So, being that I'm a false apostle, I love a man with confidence. Amen. And being that you say I come from the jinns. <laughs> A people that came into existence through smokeless fire. My Lord. We want to talk November 26th mm -hmm. and see whose God is God. That's right. Amen. You teach, or rather, you are taught. That God created himself. Amen. From the darkness. Mm -hmm. Starting as a speck of blood. Mm -hmm. Spinning in space. In space. Hmm. You are taught that God came from darkness. That's right. I teach. From everlasting mm -hmm. to, to everlasting, everlasting. he is God. God, that's right. I teach that God always was. Amen. I teach that God did not come from darkness, mm -hmm. but darkness came from God. God, that's right. If you got confidence in what you claim the greatest messenger, Elijah Muhammad taught you, Lord. bring your God right here. Mm -hmm. November 26th. Amen. Amen. You and I must agree on this. Mm -hmm. Every divine prophet, every divine messenger, mm -hmm. message must 100% comply with scripture. That's right. You and I must agree that any divine messenger of today mm -hmm. must be in full agreement with the message of yesterday which develops us today. That's right. No God sent prophet is allowed to contradict God. That's right. That's right. You must agree. Amen. Not only that, if 
zero three. Mm -hmm. Leave your message in the studio. My staff will be sure I get it. Or write me a letter. Amen. Holiness is a religion of peace. Yes, it is. Follow peace with all the men. That's right. So you're welcome, and I'm very sure this will interest the Orthodox Islamic community mm -hmm. because they know better. Yes. They know God is not created. That's right. If God came from darkness, how did darkness get here? How did it get here? That's right. That's right. That's now, this is your letter. <laughs> now it's your turn. Amen. Now I'm going to go into the Bible just to comment briefly on what you got on here. I'm not going to take up my whole telecast with you. I'm going to save your beating for the 26. <laughs> Amen. A man is not my brother because he's black. So what? That's right. And this is where many of you in the nation of Islam have been lied to. Mm -hmm. No one is your brother because they're black. Amen. Black is not the criteria for brotherhood. No, it's not. True brotherhood comes from the sin. That's right. That's right. The Bible teaches us love the brotherhood. Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of black hypocrites. Yes, it is. I want to know. I've got some here. Amen. I know some elsewhere. Amen. So being black don't make you a brother. No, no. And being the color white don't make you an enemy. That's right. And being the color white make you an enemy, the master for and Muhammad is nothing but a child of hell. That's right. Because he's a light-skinned man. Amen. Go now, go ahead. tell me, go ahead. if whiteness mm -hmm. is the devil, and according to the history of Master Farad Muhammad the Great Mahdi, he's part original man and part white. So what are you telling me? He's part devil and part Allah? Which one? My Lord. Talk to me. Amen. Which one? Amen. Is Master Farad Muhammad part devil? Hmm. And part Allah? Mm-hmm. Which one? Which one? Amen. That's right. I say the teaching mm -hmm. that God came from darkness is folly. Amen. Foolishness and a religious lie. That's right. And you're going to have your chance on the 26th for three hours. Amen. To just cough up one scripture. I'm going to make it easy on you. You don't even have to give me a list of scriptures. Mm -hmm. Just one. Amen. And it better say what you said. That's right. From that Bible. In the book. Now, he said, I'm a false prophet mm -hmm. because I won't eat catfish. My Lord. <laughs> Amen. I'm a false prophet because I won't eat possum. My Lord. Because I don't eat pork. Hmm. You ask me why don't I eat it? Mm -hmm. Because I don't like it. Don't like it. That's right. Just like I don't wear neckties. Mm -hmm. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't wear pink suits. Amen. I don't like them. That's right. That's right. Now, let's get some Bible mm -hmm. and see how I've broken any law. First in Romans chapter 14 and at verse 3. Listen. Let not him that eateth. Can I tell you what the man is? You're invited. You don't want to miss this event. Amen. The 26th of November, I want my Sunni and Shia brothers to come and you of other religions because it's time. The Nation of Islam, uh, Brother Smallwood and writing me and doing all this talk. He slowed down writing for a period of time mm -hmm. and uh, now he started back up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm saving you some ink and paper <laughs> and giving you the place to come here personally. Amen. And we're going to televise your religion. And just in case you do get absent-minded <laughs> of your teachings, mm -hmm. we will have a tape in a studio and play it to the listeners Amen. 
and a videotape that the viewers may see your teacher mm. teaching that God came from darkness. Amen. Amen. Just in case you won't remember how it goes. That's right. That's right. You see, you thought I was just some little black house Negro. Right. That jumped up in some church. That's right. Go ahead. That's what you think. I'm some little black piece of hiding behind a white man's Bible. Right. Mm -hmm. You have met the right one this time. Amen. Amen. It's not a religion in America. Go ahead. Or the law. Go ahead. That can outweigh the religion of God anywhere on the planet. Amen. Nowhere. Nowhere. So if you think <laughs> and you know <laughs> me wrong from you, well, who are you? That's right. You're just like I am. That's just. You have to eat like I do. Amen. So I'm not running from you, small wood. <laughs> I'm running to you. To you. That's right. Now, I'm not running from you. I'm running to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you right now. If you don't produce Bible. Mm -hmm. That God created himself from darkness. Right. Who want to fail to have Bible to stand behind their God. Mm -hmm. Must admit they don't have no Bible. Amen. They must admit that what they believe is wrong and taught. A lie and it must be admitted on television where it's me and you. Amen. And if I'm wrong that God always exists, mm -hmm. I would announce over the television that I'm joining the nation. Amen. Amen. And if you're able to prove in the Bible, and Bible says yes. that God created himself from darkness, and you show me that in the Bible. Bible. I'll join the nation. Mm -hmm. But if you can't, <laughs> while you're on television, mm -hmm. you gotta repent. Gotta repent. Amen. 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 And not just repent, <laughs> not just atone. Right. On television, uh -huh. the brothers gotta open up this pool on television. Amen. And you have to go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ while the camera zooming in on you while I'm baptizing you. Amen. Amen. Now let the other brother baptize you. I'm going to baptize you. If you got confidence that your God came from darkness, my Lord. Come on here. Come on. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent. Yes. Amen. Come on here. Mm -hmm. Now you have to know why I won't eat catfish and pork and hog and all that stuff. Right. Listen at the Bible. Not that I think the devil is in it. No. The devil is in people. That's right. Listen. Romans chapter 14, verse, verse 3. Follow me. <clears throat> Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. Now. <clears throat> Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. I don't eat catfish, but I do eat fish. Mm -hmm. I'm very particular of the size chicken I eat. Amen. My wife know if I eat chicken, I like little party parts. Mm -hmm. Or the, what do you call them, chicken tenders? Yeah. I don't want drumsticks that look like I can knock a tree down with. <laughs> Amen. That's me. That's, that's right. Now there's some on a drumstick that looks big enough to jack up a car. Amen. And change the tire. <laughs> that's them. That's them. That's right. Listen. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. Let not him that eateth despise him that don't eat. And let not him which eateth not. Let not him that eateth not. Judge him that eateth. Judge him that eateth. That do eat. For God hath received him. Who did? God hath received him. 
Well, if God has received the eaters and the those that eat not right. for you. That's right. That's right. Why? Because the kingdom of God is not centered around food. In Romans chapter 14 and at verse 17. Listen. For the kingdom of God is not meat. The kingdom of God is not what? Is not meat. It's not beef. That's right. It's not liver. Mm -hmm. It's not lamb. Amen. It's not pork. Mm -hmm. It's not bologna. That's right. That's right. The kingdom of God is not meat. For the kingdom of God is not meat. It's not meat and drink. And drink, but righteousness. It is doing right. And peace. And peace. And joy in and the Holy joy Spirit. in God. That's right. For meat. Meat. At verse 20, for meat destroy not the work of God. Amen. Small word. Hmm. Meat don't destroy the work of God. No, no. No, no. Meat don't affect God's work at all. Not at all. That's right. Why? Because the work of God is built by the Spirit and not by meat. That's right. That's right. Listen. For meat destroy not the work of God. Destroy not the work of God. All things indeed are pure. Devils and people. Amen. And still is. Still is. That's right. That's right. Meat does not hinder. No. Or bring a flaw. No, no. In the prophets or the apostles. That's right. Listen. For meat destroy not the work of God. Yes. All things indeed are pure. All things indeed are pure. But it is evil for that man who eateth with offense. It is evil for that man that eat, eat with offense. It is good neither to eat flesh. It is good. Neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. See, if those things cause you to stumble, right, or those things make you weak, mm -hmm. stay away from it. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Stay away from it. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why I don't eat catfish. That's right. I have brothers here that eat catfish. They love it. Love it. Mm -hmm. You ask me, why will I tell them not to do it? No, the Bible didn't tell me to tell them not to do it. No. Didn't say the Bible said eat whatsoever mm -hmm. is food in the shambles. In the shambles. That's right. And shambles may mock it. Mock it. Mm -hmm. Eat whatsoever. Whatsoever. Listen at the Bible. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and at verse 25. That's what it says. Every creature of God is good. good. That's right. As it is to be the seed. Mm -hmm. We're straightening you out on that too. Yes. Listen at the Bible. First Corinthians chapter 10 and at verse 25. What is it? Whatsoever is sold in the shambles, that eat asking no question for conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord. What? Whatsoever is sold in the shambles. The earth belong to whom? For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Everything in the earth. Everything. That came into existence. That mm -hmm. breathed. Mm -hmm. That's flesh and blood. That's right. God made. That's right. Listen at the Bible. Also in First Timothy chapter 4, begin reading at verse 2. See, we deal with Bible. That's right. And that's what upset people. Mm -hmm. Because they want me to give my opinion. I'm not giving nothing. I'm going to give Bible. The Bible, amen. If you don't want to eat pork, fine. That's right. Fine. That's right. You not eating pork don't make you no righteous than the other. No. No, it doesn't. Here's a man don't eat pork, but the same man smoke. <laughs> Amen. Some say, I want to defile my body with, with pork and like that. Right. But you defile your body with fornication. That's right. That's right. What did you do? Did you with some pork? <laughs> Amen. Are you listening? I won't eat chitlins and all that. All right. Fine. Mm -hmm. You won't defile yourself eating chitlins. Mm -hmm. But would you defile yourself with a woman or a man? Right. That's it. Defilement is defilement. That's right. Listen. First Timothy chapter 4, begin reading at verse 2. At, two, at verse 1. All right. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Ah, that ah, that's the difference here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a big difference. That's right. Spirit is talking. God's talking. Mm -hmm. That what? 
Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. God is expressing himself through Scripture. That in a lot of times some shall depart from the faith. Some shall depart from the right belief. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. And doctrines of devils. And doctrines of devils. Now, don't misunderstand me. If someone got high blood, it'll be foolish of them to go eat and pork and they know it mess up their blood. That's right. If beef don't agree with your system, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Amen. If chicken don't agree with your system, mm -hmm. don't eat it. Shrimp don't too much agree with mine. Right. I don't want to bother with shrimp. Mm -hmm. It is not because I don't want to eat no shrimp, I should advise them not to eat no shrimp. You can eat all the shrimp you want. That's right. I don't want no lobster. It looks too ugly. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it looks too ugly. <laughs> Some folks say you don't know what you're missing. Well, perhaps, but... <laughs> still ugly. It's still ugly. Amen. Now, because I don't eat it, or the devil in the claws. Right. No, no. Amen. Are right, you listening? Amen. Listen. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. What is it? Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Uh -huh. Forbidding to marry. Yes. And commanding to abstain from meat. And what kind of doctrine is that called? Doctrines of devils. And what does the doctrine of devils teach? Commanding to abstain from meats. You hear the Bible talking? Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created. Which God hath created to be received, to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature, how much? Every creature, every creature of God is good. Of God is good, and nothing to be refused. What? If it be received, if, here's the terms. If, if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. I took what the Bible say any day. That's right. That's right. Don't go telling me a white man put that in there. Amen. Amen. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. let's go to work in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I want to work on mm -hmm. hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Apostle Paul teach having mm -hmm. a form of Godliness. Mm -hmm. Four. It looked real. Sounds real. That's right. Seemed to be real. Seems to be. But one thing about hypocrites that they have in common mm -hmm. is the same subtle, crooked, and conniving. Spirit. Spirit. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, and at verse 5. Follow me. Having a form of godliness. Form. Mm -hmm. The form of reality. Mm -hmm. These are they that say they're filled with God, and these are they that don't. Have God. That's right. But they have the form. Form of it. Mm -hmm. They have the appearance. Mm -hmm. To better understand it, it'll be like if it was brothers here. Right. Who plot and scheme behind our back. That's right. And get among themselves and slander brothers and slander us and slander the church. That's right. And then say, mm -hmm. testify, collect offering, Amen. Whole offices, That's right. whole positions, always screaming, That's shouting, right. mm -hmm. like the spirit is on them. On them. Amen. Amen. 
but really hmm. hypocrites. hypocrites. That's right. It's going to get hot in here. Hmm. Amen. When a man or a woman is weak, mm -hmm. then a master hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Now you have a hypocrite and master hypocrite. That's right. A master hypocrite got it down pat. Amen. Man, they're so subtle in their hypocrisy. By the time they do cure and make a fool out of you, you sit and look just as dumb as they do. That's right. And then once they kill you, they go away and kill you again among someone else. That's right. And then, when they're not motivating or growing in God, you can't grow. Amen. Because now they become a stumbling stone and hinder you. That's right. I want anyone watching and listening to get this. Amen. Having, having a form of godliness. So that means all this. Hmm. And hey, where are you? All of that. And seek a Messiah. Yeah. Out of that same mouth. Mm-hmm. Come blessings and curses. That's right. Therewith, listen, in James chapter 3, begin reading at verse 9. Therewith, bless we God, even the Father, yes. and therewith, curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth, out of the same mouth, proceedeth blessing, proceedeth blessings and cursing. My brother, these things ought not so to be. Amen. <laughs> Many profess to have God. That's right. A hypocrite never wants to be a hypocrite by themselves. That's lonely. Amen. That is a very lonely life. Very lonely. Yes, it is. Because when people begin to notice what is in him, mm -hmm. then that arise and truly want to grow in God, they want no parts That's right. of him. That's right. Amen. So a hypocrite will project the image mm -hmm. of having great knowledge like they are deep. That's right. Like the real deep in that Bible. Amen. And those who are shallow, mm -hmm. who don't know what deep is in, fall mm -hmm. victim, prey, and are devoured by a hypocrite. That's right. A hypocrite that I like to in the spirit. Mm hmm. A hypocrite get up and testify. A hypocrite fast. Mm -hmm. A hypocrite shout. That's right. The objective of a hypocrite is to mingle and blend in. Mm -hmm. But while he and her blend in, they want to dismantle. Right. What they're in. They gather themselves together. Glory to God. In Psalms 56 and I do. I have some. That's right. And I always will. Always will. I would never tell no one, watch enough or follow enough. I don't have hypocrites. Amen. We have them. Don't we help? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. But a hypocrite don't want anybody to know him or her. No, no. That's right. I will never be anxious to let a hypocrite know I know him. Mm -hmm. So I will come on my turn. Mm -hmm. I will salute him. Amen. I will talk with him, talk. eat with him. Right. 
objective of a hypocrite is to dismantle God's work. How does that take place? Dismantle the minds of a man or a woman. That's right. Take it apart. That's right. That's what they do. In the days of Ezra, mm -hmm. we're going to take this subject for the two hours mm -hmm. and then break and pick up the third if it's the Lord's will. <laughs> but this is good. Amen. And the fourth chapter of the book of Ezra. Ezra. Mm -hmm. And I the Bible that. says, beginning at verse 1, now that the adversaries, when the adversaries of Judah, what is an adversary? An enemy. That's right. Read the Bible, shout, but is an adversary because he can't wait to get you on the phone. Amen. Talk to you all Saturday night. Mm. And then come to church Sunday in the loudest thing. That's right. Or part of the loudness. <laughs> Listen. Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin. The adversary of Judah and Benjamin. Heard that the children of captivity. That the children of bondage. Builded the temple of Israel. God of Israel. God a house. Then they came to Zerubbabel. They came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers. And to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, Let us build with you. Why? For we seek your God as ye do. It is no enemy, no adversary, no hypocrite. Seek God as you do. That's right. That's right. The hypocrite never seek God as you do. No. He project the image of seeking God. Amen. That's right. But what's really in him mm -hmm. or her and the way they really feel about others. Amen. Including the way they feel about yourself. That's right. Will come out. That's right. One thing about the Bible it is very skillful in resurrecting what's really in anybody. Amen. And hypocrisy is a hard thing to hide under. Yes, it is. That's why a hypocrite always tries to nitpick right. a truth. Amen. That's right. And the hypocrite believe their knowledge has excelled so great. Mm -hmm. They are saying, let me take you under my wings. wings. That's right. And yet they can try. Amen. That's right. If I'm going to be under somebody's wing, mm -hmm. then yet in the midst of flight, you can't even get off the ground. Amen. Your wings is not a safe haven. Oh, no. Hypocrites never stay around truth long sometime. That's right. Sometime. Sometime. Well, that's the maybe because they're stubborn. Mm -hmm. I mean, God, man, sometimes they stay around truth until they get old and gray. <laughs> it's like some folks that are prejudiced. Mm -hmm. Some will die that way. That's right. And there are some folk in the mode of hypocrisy. Some will die that way. Amen. Listen. And said unto them, let us build with you. Why? For we seek your God as ye do. Oh, no, they don't. No. Anytime anyone seek God from the depths of their heart. From the heart. Mm -hmm. Seek God. Seek. That's right. That's right. If they truly seek God, they will not gender strife. That's right. And gender contention. Mm -hmm. And deliberately try to destroy brothers and sisters because they want them to be a part of their wickedness. That's right. That's right. A hypocrite never seek God as you do. As you do. A hypocrite go through the motion. Mm -hmm. So for pretense, 
The Bible says they make long prayers. Long prayers. That's right. Pray loud. That's right. Long. Long. Sweat hard. Mm -hmm. But it's not from here. Uh -huh. Amen. That's right. And if it's not from here, it's worthless. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Let us build with you. Let us. Adversary helping me to put the tire on my car. No way. No, no. Because deliberately, my enemy is going to keep some boats out. That's right. That they may ride for a period of time and then fail. That's right. The objective of the enemy is to seek out your destruction and hunt and find out how can I destroy you. Amen. And if the enemy fall and they wish to destroy you, what they do, seek help. How can I get help? I first got to get you to think like I think and right. see things like I see it. That's right. And for me to be successful in doing that, I got the poison in your head. That's it. That's right. Am I right? That's right. So I talk to you. Mm-hmm. It make you think the Lord is dealing with me. Just jerk while I'm talking to you. <laughs> Amen. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Let us build with you. Oh! I'll put a video tape on. Hmm. And try to be subtle. That's right. With the tape. Amen. Satan don't have the title separate for nothing. No, no. Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs. And Psalms. Do you know it devises me? Plan, plot, scheme. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Preachers have took the Bible, mm -hmm. which is the law of truth. Amen. But three fellow laws. Oh, yes. Have made you disbelieve the Bible. Three fellow laws. The nation of Islam has made many black folks think right. that white people are responsible for the scriptures, which is a, a black lie. That's a lie. Amen. Amen. That's a black lie. Yes, it is. That's right. That's subtle. Subtle. Project the image mm -hmm. of sincerity. You have it right among your own brothers. Amen. Come to you with a sincere tone of voice. Continue with the image of concern and deep conviction about your well-being. That's right. And the whole objective is to dismantle you spiritually. So whatever way and whatever method the snake desire to slither that it may devour the dust. Go ahead. That's right. And coil That's its right. death right within your bosom. My Lord, my Lord. By any means necessary, Amen. to get that brother or sister to join me, mm -hmm. I first must get them to think like me. Amen. That's right. So besides sitting and getting the word, the one that's ignorant of the word try to sit in judgment, judgment of the word. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. Psalms 5 and at verse... Oh, this is good. Psalms 5 and at verse 9. Listen. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. What? There is no faithfulness in their mouth. Uh, I mean, you know, I can't have no confidence in what they say. Their inward part... Their inward... Inward parts is very wickedness. Are you listening to the Bible talking? Their throat. Their inward part. Their inward part. Even is after they hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, seek the Messiah, lift that river. That's right. You can my lock a dock and yuck a pack mac jack. Amen. Like these old TV bangers you folk look at. That's right. Who drive out some old trashy tongue. Amen. And blame it on the Holy Ghost. You can give me twenty dollars. <laughs> Listen at the inward part. The inward part is very wicked. You see, real man, the true essence of man, is not flesh and blood. That's right. 
The flesh and blood is simply a coat of the real intense. Mm -hmm. The true book is not the cover. Amen. It is the contents. What's in the book? That's right. What's really in a man? Righteous or unrighteous? unrighteous. Clean or unclean? Mm -hmm. Holy or unholy? Amen. Wicked or perverse? Mm -hmm. That is the true essence of man. That's right. That's why God first must change what is in the man. Right. And then the outer man begins to fall in place according to what's in him. Amen. But as long as that man is looking with him, in with God. he can shout. Yes. Preach. That's right. Wear a bow tie. That's right. Wear a neck tie. Amen. She can wear a keyboard. That's right. Put that hell in the man. That's right. That's right. They cross the fully in them. Inward. Inward. The inward parts. Very wicked. Is wicked. That's right. Amen. Oh, glory. They, mm -hmm. Because they put on a robe. Yep. Amen. Or wear a chemo. That's right. Or wear a bow tie. Amen. Sell bean pies. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because you come here. Amen. So what? So what? It is the end of part. End of part. Listen. That's right. To truly know where the egg is rotten, <laughs> you gotta crack it. Go ahead. That's right. And then the true birth and filth and corruption right. that lies in the air. That's right. It is the opening of the air that reveals the truth that along the cold is blending with all other. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Hypocrites try to blend in. They try, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some try to blend in here. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But there's a stench mm -hmm. that's coming from the air. Mm -hmm. Because the devil is cracking it. That's right. Religion? That's right. You project a clean image. Mm -hmm. But the devil had cracked you years ago. Oh, yeah. That's right. You have proven to be corruptors of wickedness. Mm hmm. And you strive over just to deceive and seduce and to down people. Down people. Amen. That's right. And that same spirit come among God people. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. So someone that gets you on the phone or invite you for dinner. That's right. Or all of a sudden they're friendly. <laughs> we say out of the blue. But yeah. well, they come out of the darkness. Amen. That's right. Never mind no blue. That's right. They come out of the darkness and are subtle in their deeds. Mm -hmm. But their whole intent is to convert you. Amen. See, so there's a positive conversion that takes place, and there's a conversion that takes place that is nothing but for the wickedness. That's right. And when someone is converted by the wicked, they look at things the way the wicked look at. Mm -hmm. They feel what the wicked feel before the wicked got a hold of them. They you feel that wickedness in them. That's right. They will enjoy God, enjoy the word, God in the service, but the wickedness has injected them with poison. That's right. And the poison has deteriorated the spiritual mind in the dark. Listen, in Job chapter 24 and at verse 16. Yes. In the dark they dig through houses. Now hold it. In the dark have more than one meaning. That's right. For you can function in the dark in the light. Mm -hmm. That's true. In the dark, they dig through houses. Your body is an earthly house. It's an earthly tabernacle. That's right. So, in the darkness, meaning being subtle. Subtle. Mm -hmm. 
They give through your house. Through houses. They give through your heart. That's right. They give through your mind. They give through your emotions. That's right. And by the time that hypocrite dump all the filth and the waste mm -hmm. in your heart, in your, heart. In your mind, That's right. in your body, mm -hmm. you lost the freedom you had in God. Amen. The wicked will say that the wicked are like this spiritual. They'll say, well, won't be for long. I'm just going to be staying home praying. That's what they say. And I advise you, you know, you need to stay home and pray too. That's right. That's what they say. I'm going for to hear from heaven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and before the wicked conclude to stay home, they'll keep their positions. That's Why? Right. They don't want no one to know. Mm-hmm. What's really in them? But a hypocrite is careless. Amen. In police work, they have a crime laboratory. Mm -hmm. What is the job of the laboratory to do the science? That's right. Methods of science to resolve a crime. Mm -hmm. One area is called forensic science. That's right. Where they can take a case 40 years old, dig up a body, mm -hmm. get certain material from the body, mm -hmm. and get the truth. That's right. A hypocrite leaves a trail. <laughs> they are careless. Amen. They leave fingerprints. Or should I say, spirit prints. <laughs> That's right. They leave spirit prints. Mm hmm where they think they have covered their tracks, they have not. Have not. Amen. Because the tracks stand out. Mm -hmm. You know, in certain areas of police work, if there is no light, or if the criminal thinks they have cleaned the room mm -hmm. successfully, there's a different type of light. That's right. Designed to show up exactly what they're looking for. So if a man take place in the room and blow anywhere, Everywhere. Mm -hmm. the criminal, watch the walls. Right. You come in there with the colonel eye, there mm -hmm. could not be no murder taking place here. That's right. Place is clean. That's right. That's right. Turn the light on the wall. Mm -hmm. I don't see nothing. I see nothing. Now, they get a man mm -hmm. who specializes in the field using greater light. That's right. The greater light come in whose power is different from the regular light, light. and that light has power to discern. That's right. And when the, all the lights are turned off, mm -hmm. this particular light shines in the room I can pick up every spatter of blood. That's right. After it was cleaned up. Whose hatred? Listen. In Proverbs chapter 26 and at verse 26. This is good. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. Listen at the Bible. Give chapter and verse again. Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 26. Yes. Whose hatred is covered by deceit. Whose hatred is covered? By deceit. It's covered by how? By deceit. Hatred is covered how? By deceit. Oh, I thank and praise God the word was good today. The message was wonderful. The hatred is covered how? By deceit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. By deceit. You will love my satire, Yoki Tony Mo. By deceit. One glad morning when the life is over by deceit. Amen. Praise the Lord, brother. By deceit. When he speaketh fair, believe him not. <laughs> That's right. I right, listen to the Bible. Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 25. Oh, yes. When he speaketh fair. When he speaks fair, believe him not. 
One thing I learned about a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. When they kill others to you, they are killing you That's right. to others. That's right. They will befriend you to pull out that you may pull your heart out to them. That's right. That's right. Listen. If a brother going to tell a brother, mm -hmm. you need someone to talk to, you can talk to me. Right. But if the one you talking to is mischievous. Amen. Full of mischief and strife. Mm -hmm. Until now, the same wickedness that is in him, mm -hmm. you are part of it. Part of it. Amen. Simeon and Levi are what? Brethren. Brethren. Mm -hmm. The scripture says instruments of True. cruelty. What do you mean instruments of cruelty? Those that are designed by the devil oh, yeah. and used as devices. That's right. That's right. To cause deception and contention. That's right. Among God's people. Amen. So the wickedness was spread from brother and to sister. And the Bible says what? Whose hatred is covered by deceit. Hatred. Hmm. It's covered. Covered by deceit. Like I said, a hypocrite is careless. They leave a trail. That's right. And the trail that they leave mm -hmm. is so visible, but yet they're so blind, mm -hmm. they don't see the trail. His wickedness shall be showed. His wickedness shall be showed. Shall be shown before the whole congregation. Amen. The Bible said they finally shall be made manifest mm -hmm. as Janus and Jabez was. Men who want to withstand Moses. That's right. The Bible says what? Whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Yes! The preachers today, the wickedness is being exposed. Amen. Before the congregation of the world. That's right. Religion has failed you years ago. Oh, yeah. How can a sister who's of God mm -hmm. can be so close to a sinner mm -hmm. and that sinner hates God? Hate God. And then the way I feel about God and my disagreement with God and God's church and God's word and God's people, mm -hmm. I tell the sinner, right. and yet my righteousness for the exceed his. That's right. That's right. Before I adopt that low nature, mm -hmm. I am transformed and to God's enemy. That's right. So I'm saying, I know I don't hate God. Let's see James. James chapter 4 and at verse 4. Listen. Ye adulterers and adulteresses. Adulterers and adulteresses. Know ye not? Do you know? That the friendship of the world. See, folks can shout and speak in tongue and do the split and scream like James Brown. And That's right. Walk on their hands like Yogi Bear. And <laughs> and do the boo-boo. Amen. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. That's right. Hypocrisy is poison. That's right. That's what it is. And when anybody, that's why sometime when poison gangrene set in a limb, mm -hmm. maybe treat it for a period of time, but if that limb can't be saved, what happens? Cut, Cut it, it off. off. Cut it off. Separate. That's right. But it's something about hypocrisy that bring about unification. <laughs> but how can I be of God and be so in oneness right. with someone who hate God? That's right. That's right. How can that happen? How can that happen? Amen. That me and the wicked one mm -hmm. are in agreement. With our 
your way of thinking about divine principle. Amen. How can he without the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and he that had the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. be one? Be one. According to God, it can't be. That's right. Until the one without the Holy Ghost convert the one with the Holy Ghost and the one that had it lose it. Lose it. That's right. And now you're one. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good. Yes, it is. Listen, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? You know how folks don't grow? Hmm. Enmity. Enmity hmm. means division. Division. That's right. So, when someone has enmity, mm -hmm. well, that the friendship of the world is, is enmity with God. Who what? Whosoever therefore. Whosoever therefore. Will be a friend of the world. Will be a friend of the world. Is the enemy of God. I don't want to be close to you. No, no. no, no. I'm not even going to try. Amen. To be close to you. That's right. That's right. I'd rather have enemies on earth. Because not one of them enemies can do anything. That's right. They can't discourage us. They can't defeat us. Mm -hmm. They're not going to drive us into despair. Amen. But if God is your enemy, God is your enemy. All the encouragement you get is worthless. Amen. That's right. Because now all heaven can returns against you. Amen. But if God is with you, you got someone who fights for you right. and with you and your enemies. God makes them your footstool and you trample on them. Amen. Amen. That's right. So then the enemy think, how can I go about stopping that momentum? Every day. Listen. In Psalms 56 and at verse 6. Glory to God. Every day. Every day they rest my word. They rest my word. All their thoughts are against me. All their thoughts are against me for are evil. Against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They hide themselves. <laughs> themselves. They mark my steps. They mark. That's when they become subtle. That's right. Hey, look at look at them now. Look at them. Look, look at that. You see that? Yeah. They do what? They mark they my mark. steps. That's true. That's they true. imitate the preacher. That's right. And mocking him, mm -hmm. showing they dislike about him. Mm -hmm. So they were the Bible said they mark they mark. mark my look steps. At, look at the way he slings his hands. They got the way he do. That's right. Yeah, I, I'm watching. I'm watching. They what? They mark I my I told steps. you there's nothing you can do that's not in the Bible already Amen. because somebody came along that done it. That's right. The Spirit already got in them and made them do it. They dead now. You here and you become to rehearse the same hypocrisy. I told you, you're late. That's right. Not a new thing. Amen. You're late. Late. The Bible says they gather themselves together. They, they gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They hide themselves. They call one another. Let's go meet. Go out to lunch. Right. Let's go out to dinner. That's, did you see what? <laughs> yeah, I seen that. Yeah? Yeah. The Bible says, say not a confederacy, to whom this people shall say a confederacy. A confederacy is like a coup. That's right. A few blind folk who band themselves together mm -hmm. to overthrow a government. That's right. Viewers, That's right. the preachers are a confederacy. Amen. Satan has banned religion together. Mm -hmm. To try to overthrow the kingdom of God. That's right. That's right. But the Bible says there is no weapon form that can prosper. That's right. 
So it troubles a hypocrite or hypocrite. When they see they scheme, plot, mm. plan, mm -hmm. not working all, they can't get many to join them. That's right. That's right. Listen. They gather themselves together. They gather themselves together sometimes to be a fake prayer meeting. That's right. Form. Form of Square God. one. We're, back at, we're right back at square one. Form of God. No prayer meeting. No prayer meeting. Fake prayer meeting. Amen. In the midst of a pool of screaming and jumping. Noise. That's all it is. That's what you have all over the world. Noise. Amen. Amen. A form. A form of godliness. Satan become the puppet master. That's right. And pull the strings in the hypocrite mood. Amen. Listen. They hide themselves. They hide themselves. They mark my steps. They mock. I have some step markers. Oh, yeah. I got some here now. <laughs> they mock your steps. Mark it. Mm -hmm. What you mean? Not that they imitate you for the good. No, no. They imitate you, hopefully, that they can seek out something that violates the principle yeah. of scripture that they so-called deep knowledge they share with others. That's right. So through subtlety. Now, let's look at a tape together. Mm-hmm. This is written. It's written. It's all here. It's all oh, here. That's right. <laughs> Listen. They hide themselves. They hide themselves. They mark my steps. They mark my steps. When they wait for my soul. When they wait for what? For my soul. Hoping that you'll be taken off the earth. And in Psalms 58 and at verse 1. Viewers and radio listeners. Mm -hmm. No man walking. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Be successful mm -hmm. in getting the message of holiness out of the earth. Amen. Can do it. If I die, so right. be it. That's right. God will get somebody else. Amen. If they die, so be it. That's right. God will get somebody else. Amen. Amen. Holiness remains. Yes, it will. The hypocrites can gather as the canker worm. That's right. None of them will be successful in devouring, devouring the flesh. Okay. Knowest thou? Do you listen at the Bible? In Job chapter 20 and at verse 4. You see, I keep telling the hypocrites, you leave a trail. Mm -hmm. And your trail is bright. That's right. The light of the wicked. Even though you functioned in darkness, but even the wicked have light. In Job chapter 18 and at verse 5. What is it? Yea, the light of the wicked. I told you. Shall be put out. <laughs> Amen. The light of the wicked. Shall be put out. God is talking to you. That's right. God. You wicked people in the earth. And I'm not just talking about white folk. That's right. Wouldn't the world be dumb enough to believe just white people are wicked? Amen. Every man walking the earth from every ethnic group on the planet mm -hmm. that's not of God is wicked. Wicked, that's right. Everyone. Amen. Whether you're black as the street, white as snow, yellow as the school bus, or clear as water, or brown as a sugar cane. That's right. No respect the person. No respect the person. If you come out speckled like mm -hmm. a cow. Amen. If you're not filled with God. Mm -hmm. Your light will be put out. Put out. That's right. If a man and a woman is wicked mm -hmm. and yet have no desire to be delivered from their wickedness, Amen. they should not even want to be a part of the people of God. That's right. Am I right? That's right. That's right. If, I'm going to say it again, if a man or a woman is wicked, Amen. And yet have no desire mm -hmm. to be righteous, mm -hmm. 
They shouldn't have no desire or even a want to be around God's people. That's right. Amen. But the wicked desire to poison that which is godly, that they don't be left alone. That's right. And then the godly lose out mm -hmm. by the influence of the wicked. Amen. And then the lottering of the wicked is worse than they begin. In the beginning. The scripture says what? Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out. Oh, I want to take my time and soak you today. And the spark of his fire shall not shine. It makes the wicked feel needed mm -hmm. and wanted when he got a compadre. That's right. Somebody with him. Somebody with him. It makes them feel good mm -hmm. when he or she done successfully converted someone to think like them. Amen. The devil loved that. Love that. That's been established in the beginning. That's right. Satan didn't want to fight God by himself. That's right. So he subdued a third. Amen. And war broke out in heaven. In heaven. Mm -hmm. The father of hypocrites. That's right. So the children of the father of the devil, hmm. your father, the devil, mm -hmm. I want to talk to his children today. Amen. Amen. Yes, you. Your father, the devil. Who, father? In John chapter 8 and verse 44. Listen. Ye are of your father, the devil. You're of who, father? Your father. Who, father? Your father. Who, my father? You are of your father, the devil. And what? And the love. And the desire. Of your father. Of your father. He will do. So what choice? does the wicked have that's right we look past the shouting oh yeah we look past your little church position that's right we look past the stopping of the feet and the clapping of your hands amen and the little coins you give an offering amen if you're a student of hell a user of the wicked one. Mm -hmm. I don't mean the user of the white man either. No, no. But the user, Satan. That's right. Satan, the devil. The devil. Smallwood, Mr. Muhammad says, this is the white man's book. Mm -hmm. It must not be all that white because they use it. Amen. <laughs> Is that right? That's right. It must not be all that evil. They use it. Amen. The Bible says having a form of godliness. Television viewers, you don't want to have a form of godliness and just be in a crowd going to some church through the motion. That's right. You go to some church meeting and someone lay hands on you and you know you don't feel like falling. Amen. But just because everybody else do it, you just say, oh well. Oh well, that's right. Am I right? That's right. You don't want to feel left out. Amen. Church member. Mm -hmm. You ought to be man enough or woman enough to have some stability in you. Amen. That when the suit wearing, dress wearing hypocrite. That's right. Comes to prey upon you. To try to convert you to be a judge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> over someone who can't even judge themselves. Amen. Stay away. From the hypocrite. The TV evangelists are the greatest hypocrites in America. Amen. Big business because they use the name Jesus. Yes, they do. They say if you give a thousand dollars, you get back ten thousand. Mm -hmm. They have a religious pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That's what it is. Like this pyramid racket. Amen. Folk give twenty dollars, guaranteed two hundred. <laughs> I got a letter from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I asked me to send. A thousand dollars. I get back a million. Right. Amen. 
Right. Amen. That's like three card Molly. That's right. See, you religions. <laughs> three religion Molly. That's right. You take the Bible. And take people money. That's right. Hide it under the name Jesus. Hide it under that. Just enough where they can see it. Mm -hmm. It's called a blessing plan. Amen. And then, and because they get a little bit more money back, they gave a dollar and they got back a dollar, 15 cents. That's right. They say, you know, God's got to be with that man because I found 15 cents. <laughs> My time. It's gone. Stay away from hypocrisy. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Small one. November 26th. It's your day. May God bless you. May God open up your understanding. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five U.S. dollars. However, for those rising in and requesting copies of this broadcast, we'd always ask that you indicate the program number clearly within your letter. Now, today's or tonight's program number is 538. Once again, a cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can be obtained at the cost of five U.S. dollars. However, for those rising in and requesting copies of our broadcast, we ask that you indicate the program number clearly within your letter. Now, today's or tonight's program number is 538. Once again, that number is 538. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area, in person, by Pastor Jennings, or have questions regarding this program, or simply regarding the Bible, again, you should address all your correspondence to Pastor Gino Jennings. That's Pastor Gino Jennings, First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. Again, if you're listening, or watching for the first time, our address, 2431, 2431 Frankfort Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America. Our postal zip code, 19125. We'd also like to hear from you by, by email. Our email address is truthofgodatarrows.com. Once again, send us an email if you see this program at truthofgodatarrows.com. You may also visit us on the internet. That is, visit our website at www.truthofgod.com. Once again, visit us on the internet. Our internet address is www.truthofgod.com. I'd like to remind you of our upcoming services. Uh, that is, you're cordially invited to attend our combined men's and women's National Holy Convocation. Now, the dates are November the 20th through November the 26th. Services, service times are Monday, November the 20th through Wednesday, November the 22nd. Those service times will be at 7 p.m. in the evening. On Thursday and Friday of that week, services will be at 12 noon and again at 7 p.m. The Saturday service will be at 4 p.m. and the Sunday service will be at the usual times at 11.30 a.m. and again at 6 p.m. All services will be held right here at the headquarters church. The address, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And obviously all our listeners and viewers are cordially invited to be with us. Once again, our combined national men's and women's holy convocation. That will convene this year, Monday, November the 20th, through Sunday, November the 26th. Services Monday through Wednesday of that particular week. All those services will be held at 7 p.m. Services beginning on Thursday and Friday will be held at 12 noon and again at 7 p.m. in the evening. The Saturday service, the Saturday service, November the 25th, I do believe, that service will be at 4 p.m. And the Sunday service will be at our usual times of 11.30 a.m. and again at 6 p.m. All services will be right here, right here at the Headquarters Church, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And all our listeners and viewers everywhere are cordially invited. Quickly to our Spanish-speaking listeners, saludos a todos nuestros. Radio escucha esta habla hispana en el nombre de su Cristo. Este es el programa radial. Verdad de Dios con el pastor Gino Jennings. Esta transmisión llega, llega a ustedes de la primera iglesia de nuestro, el Señor Jesucristo de la Fe de los Apóstoles, localizada en el 2431 de la Avenida Frankfurt, en Filadelfia, Pensilvania, 19125, en los Estados Unidos de América. 
El plan verdadero de Dios para nuestra salvación requiere que usted se arrepienta y sea bautizado en el agua en el nombre de Jesucristo para el perdón de sus pecados y que usted reciba el don del Espíritu Santo, según lo dice la Biblia. Le invitamos a que nos escriba y solicite los siguientes folletos bíblicos gratis titulados ha nacido usted de nuevo, mujeres predicadoras, y Jesucristo es Dios Todopoderoso. Una vez más, nuestra dirección es Primera Iglesia de Nuestro, de Señor Jesucristo, de la Fe de los Apóstoles, 2431, Avenida Frankfurt, en Filadelfia, Pensilvania, 19125, al cuidado de Pastor Gino Jennings, en los Estados Unidos de América. Que Dios les bendiga. Esperamos que nos escriban. Pronto. That's to our Spanish-speaking listeners. Now I'm honored to present unto you the servant of God and general overseer, our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters and friends, and once again to my enemies, <clears throat> we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus, the one God of the prophets and of the apostles. We thank him moreover for the message of truth that he revealed to them for our learning. We thank him for the religion that he has conveyed to them, which is holiness. <clears throat> the Bible teaches us the holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. So television viewers and radio listeners, we are always thankful to open up your understanding to the Bible. I don't have no message planned or cue cards. The cameramen who you don't see are not holding up cue cards, for I'm pretty sure they would not be able to keep up with us. Amen. We give you information right from the Bible. I want to ask you, television viewer and radio listener, do you believe the Bible you carry? Do you believe it? You have it. Now, if you believe it, you will try to do what it says. Amen. Do you believe when that smoke detector go off in your house, you check and see what's wrong. You just don't reach a conclusion without checking. The battery is low. Two o'clock in the morning and you jump up and that smoke detector is ringing. You're looking, getting your children together. You don't just keep laying there and say, well, I'll wait till the noise pass. You might pass. Amen. Is that right? So you spend time checking, looking around. The alarm called your attention because possibility can be some danger. Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible is an alarm. Sin is danger. Amen. And even though the Bible is being rung very loud, I mean it's ringing loudly, some still try to deafen the ears Amen. to the message of the scriptures. That's why this program is either blacked out on the radio, static, fade in and out, but somebody can come along singing about tying a yellow ribbon around an old oak tree. That's loud and clear. Amen. Somebody come on rapping. I was in New York yesterday with me and about three other brothers and someone pulled up next to us rapping, cars just blasting. And you can hear the lyrics, nothing but cursing. Mm -hmm. What they want to do to a woman what they think a woman is. And folk love that because it is describing the true nature of man. Amen. Another man was just playing with a yo-yo that glow in the dark with a glow in the dark mouthpiece. He had lights in his mouth. So before we went in the tunnel, I let the window down and said, Sir, what, what is that in your mouth? 
He opened his mouth, a, a, a mouthpiece. It lights up something to give him nothing to do. Then in driving, we came up through Harlem and came down the street where the famed Apollo Theater was, and we didn't go there. <laughs> and we was taking care of some things, and you can see people by the thousands this religion got they stand, five percenters, Moorish Americans, Nation of Islam, Sunni, Hebrew Israelites, the nobodies, wanderers. Everyone got they stand selling something. That's right. Selling something. Mm -hmm. Why are people crowded around these stands? People are actually hunting and looking for something. Amen. They're looking for something. Mm -hmm. We have a stand in Philadelphia where brothers who are committed to truth, because you really got to be committed to something to go out there. That's right. That's right. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And we're going to fix it so where the brothers can have a TV monitor with a built-in tape deck. So folks can see the truth. Mm -hmm. That way, even if they want to buy it, stand, see it, look at it while it's on your stand. Amen. Truth upset people. Oh, yeah. That many that watch us have met the brothers that was in different parts of the city, saying how they watch the telecast, how they enjoy it. Mm -hmm. The telecast is designed for one thing, not for entertainment, not for love songs. That's right. For strictly Bible use. Amen. I'm not trying to make my name popular. Right. We are pushing the name of the Lord Jesus throughout the world. Amen. You don't have to know my name. You can just say that preacher. <laughs> or that fella. That's what they call me, K.I. That's right. The man said, put that fellow in prison. In prison. So, our aim, brothers and sisters, is to wake you up from your sleep. Mm -hmm. Many of us that are here, we, are, we have hunted for years. Some of us was all kind of things. Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, non-denominational, Elks, Masons, Muslims, drug dealers, mm -hmm. in prison, Amen. gay, lesbians, prostitutes, mm -hmm. pimps. I want to say, I don't want to go to a church and folk used to be all that. That's the right place to, for them to be. That's right. That's the right place to be. Amen. Let the drug lord surrender and come here. Amen. Six, chapter, if I'm correct, of the book of 1 Corinthians. Amen. You can't afford to look down on no, on no one. Who were in their sins? No, no. no. If they're striving to come out, come out. That's from right. Among them. That's right. But it takes the right thing to pull you out. Amen. Listen. First Corinthians chapter six and at verse nine. Follow me. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators. Yes. Nor idolaters. Uh huh. Nor adulterers. Nor effeminate. Effeminate. Funny. Fairies. Mm -hmm. Nor abuse. Gay folk. Amen. Mm -hmm. Nor abuse. Folks that's not straight. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nor crooked people. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now you can go on. Nor effeminate. Effeminate. 
nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Abusers of themselves with mankind. Nor thieves. Nor thieves. Nor covetous. Nor drunkards. All, every class here that is here now is sitting here now. Amen. That were in that class. Amen. There are many following us in America and somebody were in this class. Amen. Some folks say, well, I don't want to come to the Lord until I get right. You're doing it wrong. That's right. The purpose of coming to him that you might get right. Amen. You will never get right being out there. Never. No, you won't. Are you listening? Amen. Get this. No drunkards. I mean, you listen to me now, you still got the bottle. Mm. You got it in your house. Why are you watching me? Mm. Who? You? I'm talking to you. <laughs> you still got your bottle? Amen. Throw it out. That way you don't wait till you get cirrhosis of the liver, then want prayer. That's right. Holiness, if you really want it, will take the bottle of liquor out of your hand. Amen. The dice out of your hand. Mm -hmm. The drugs out of your body. But you have to want it. Oh, yeah. Not just hang around it. You got to want it. That's right. That's right. You must acknowledge the ills and the sicknesses oh, yeah. that are in yourself. Amen. Amen. Not drag on your cigarette and try to witness the people. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Are you listening? Amen. You're not dragging on your cigarette and witnessing. Mm -hmm. You out there? <laughs> you know you need to be born again. Are you upset? <coughs> You accept Christ as your personal Savior? I'm born again. Born of what? Born of what? Amen. Born of nicotine and of cancer. Amen. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Prostitute? <laughs> you too, madam. This will put clothes on you. Oh, yeah. You won't sell your body like dog food. That's right. This will dress your mind, dress your heart, and dress your body. Amen. I want to answer the email. I don't have it out here now. A woman that wrote me and asked, Why do your women have clothes on? My Lord. She said, I go to church, I wear jewelry, and I wear mini skirts, but your women are all the way covered. Aren't they hot in the summertime? Well, I'm pretty sure they are, but, but. I don't care how hot you are, if you are a respectable woman, your breasts your thighs, your backside, your womb, you have sense enough to know is not designed for the public to see. Amen. Amen. Why do the Bible declare put a difference? That's right. Between holiness and unholy. They don't ask a Muslim sister that. No. No, no. But the reason why they ask our women that because they know it is out of the ordinary for women in a church to be covered. Women in churches that they are more naked than women in the streets. Amen. I don't want my wife. She can't talk to a brother. 
without he's looking down where her chest begins. That's right. A split from her heel all the way to the center of her back. Amen. A skirt or a dress no longer than my jacket, and she's trying to pull it. It ain't going nowhere. Amen. I right, listen to the old man. That's right. So, sister, you want to know what does the Bible command the woman to cover up her nakedness? Nakedness. Give me the book of Revelation. In Revelation chapter three and at verse eighteen. Listen. I counsel to I counsel thee to buy me gold tried in the fire. Yes. That thou mayest be rich and white raiment. That thou mayest be clothed. And? And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Where your breath began and where it ends is your business. Your business. Am I right? That's right. That's right. How can a man think about Jesus and the uh, crucifixion? That's right. And the resurrection. Amen. And you stand and talking to him with your breast hanging out Amen. with a pamphlet in your hand. That's right. That's right. His mind isn't on Jesus. Oh, no. His mind is on other things. That's right. <laughs> is that right? Am I right, I said? Amen. I mean, let's be realistic. Don't be stupid. That's right. That's right. Now, someone blind would say, well, he should be able to see Jesus do all this. <laughs> it is not Amen. man's nature oh, no. to see Jesus. No, it's not. See all of that. Oh, no. Do you understand? Amen. <laughs> so the Bible says, cover up. That the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Cover it up. That's right. You go to these churches with right. a split from your ankle all the way up to when you sit down, your thigh just fall open. Amen. Just fall open. Bam. <laughs> Let's come out open. That's right. A big thigh. That's right. A calf, a bicep. Amen. Today the women can't bend down the church to pick up their pocketbook. Oh, no. No, they better not. That's right. These are church people. Amen. The woman said in her email, she said, my preacher don't say nothing. You got that right. <laughs> He is not going to say nothing. He don't mind you keep bending before him. That's right. That's right. <laughs> He's not going to say nothing. Oh, no. All he's going to say is, God bless you. <laughs> Heaven smile upon you. Amen. That's all he's going to do. That's and preach love. Preach love. Yes, he will. Am I right? Amen. <laughs> oh, yes, that's all you're going to do. Amen. So, it is, it is indecent. It's just indecent. indecent. For a woman to exploit her, if you take note of the advertising industry, uh, to buy clothes, oh, yeah. to get those clothes on the market so people can buy them, they get women to be half naked. Amen. They use sex. That's what they do. They use the image of hoes. That's right. There's billboards right. throughout Philadelphia. A woman with men underwear on. Her hands down in them. Shut up and bust almost revealed. Now when men see that woman, that'll make them want to buy some free blues. That's right. Or some hay. That's right. But you must have got the result to low pimpish. Amen. Methods. Amen. 
just to sell drugs? Yeah. Talk to me. Amen. Just to sell t-shirts? That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. A woman got a pose like a hoe. My Lord. Just so a company will make money. That's right. The Bible says, cut up that thou mayest be clothed. Clothed! And that the shame, and the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. You just can't wear a blouse and cover yourself. Mm How -hmm. can be about down here? Mm -hmm. And when you go to these Christian rock concerts, you clapping and you clapping. <laughs> Amen. And folks will sit right in church looking at you. Yes, they will. <laughs> Shake the preacher hand. You folk that watch me know what I'm talking about because most of them is your pastor. Amen. And cool your daddy. Amen. You go right to the church. There's a woman come up, chest all revealed, and old bishop. Well, God bless you. Ooh, honey, honey. So you don't call your sister or mother in the devil's churches. Oh, no. Honey, baby, sugar doll, sweet thing, rose chain. Oh, that Lord is good to you, so sweet. Heaven, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. It's a false pitch. That's all it is. That's all it is. Cover that stuff oh, up. That's right. Now, you want to know why the sisters have their head covered? Mm -hmm. In the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, the Bible commands it. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 5. Yes. But every woman that prays or prophesies with her head see, uncovered. I see many of you young men out there ready to fight other young brothers. Well, they're whistling at your daughter's backside. Amen. And to my Muslim sisters, it's a shame. Why in the world? You bear with me. Why in the world? When you wear a chemo and skin tight jeans. Amen. How in the world you gonna have the symbol of righteousness on your head? That's right. And you won't take backside in public. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. You know what I'm thinking about now? I'm going to make them in them tight jeans left around you. No, no. That's right. I said, I'm nothing. That's right. Who can see a lot? That's right. See them tight jeans. That's right. Amen. That's right. Who can understand the existence of all men who are law? That's right. With a key man and a hawker. Go ahead. That's what they wear. Assalam a fakem. Amen. Amen. Faking. That's right. Take them pants off. That's right. The Bible demands. Demands it. Demands it. In Deuteronomy 22 5. 22 5. Amen. That a woman that shall not wear. That with the tail of Don't tell me nothing about a Palestinian custom. That's right. Take it off. Amen. Your shape shall not be revealed in public. That's right. The woman's supposed to be so. She's not displayed in public in a way she don't give a man a reason to lust. Amen. I don't know where you're going to have your head covered, mouth and nose covered, and only thing you see is your eyes and your backside wrapped in some Levi's. Amen. And no one can see Jesus. Nobody see that. Nobody. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. 
Listen. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Our old women are not allowed to wear pants. Our little girls are allowed to wear pants. Amen. Shorts, sweatpants, sweatsuits. In the school with many skirts on, That's many right. nothing. In the school districts throughout all America, put uniforms out. The only way our sisters will wear them, they must meet up to our standard. Amen. Our sisters will not wear many skirts on no terms. Amen. Their body will be covered. That's right. And they dress their skirts long and down. Amen. In church, you know? That's right. If the school gets it down like it, so what? Amen. Let God be true. Amen. Let all of you be liars. That's right. You mothers get some calls on your daughters. That's right. Then these young two-legged animals can stop cussing at her, calling her a female dog. Amen. You send that twelve-year-old out there with sandals and straps that tie all up to a calf, lipstick on her lips, ears pierced to show the twelve long fake females made by Japan. Amen. That's right. Got a halter on with nothing in it. And I string up a tail like a dog. That's right. And she sent out in public by her mama. Amen. And you a Christian. Christian. You of hell. That's right. Okay. Are you listening to me? Amen. Paul said, I speak this to your shame. Your shame. That's right. It is indecent. It's indecent. That these young women come outside like naked animals. Amen. It is indecent. Amen. That's not modest. Not at all. Kimor and Levi. <laughs> you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. Hmm. That don't work here. Kimor and Miniscope. Oh, no. That don't work. Oh, no. That don't work here. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. A bow tie and gay don't work. <laughs> no, that don't work. <laughs> Am I right? Amen. It don't work. <laughs> Are you listening? The scriptures teaches us what? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. But uh, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Hold it. Amen. That too. You men that want to wear ponytails. That's right. And some of you brothers don't have straight hair. No. See, they put a brillo pad in their back. Take what little hair they got. Amen. And put multi rubber bands on it. Mm -hmm. Because they want to be like someone else. That's right. You young men who want to wear assholes. Go ahead. Thinking that's black. You think being black is having an afro and wearing red, black, and green, and yellow, and wearing shirts with a fist on it? Amen. Are you that dumb? My Lord. Are you that blind that you think black is going around hating every white person living? That's right. My Lord. You don't know what black is. It is. Amen. Amen. It is more than the color. Yes, it is. It is beyond the color spectrum. That's right. Then my white brothers who want to have hair down your shoulders. Mm. 
and want to put black fingernails on. Yeah. Amen. And black lipstick. That's right. And my black and white brothers want to get their hair sprayed so it can get stiff in points. Yeah. Right. Like chickens. Yeah. Amen. Blue, green, red, yellow. Yeah. Purple. Amen. Everybody want to get their nose pierced. Something. I imagine a preacher preaching with his nose pierced. Preacher. Mm. Men with earrings in their ear. What for? What for? That's right. That's God want a hole in your ears? He could have put them in there. Amen. What does it do for you? Amen. What does it make you? Does it make you? Does it make you more of a man? Mm. Okay. Look at yourself while I'm talking to you. Look how fifty and dirty you are. Amen. Look at yourself, woman. Look at you. You're a Christian hoe. Look at you. Go ahead. Look at you. Go ahead, go ahead. You Christian man walk around with some yellow suit. Amen. Red ties, sky blue socks. That's right. Driving in your Cadillac linked over. That's right. And 65. Amen. Amen. You all folks today in your 50s and 60s and 70s. That's right. It isn't too many of none of you mm -hmm. that are respectable Amen. or are a reasonable example to young people. Amen. Only a few of you. Only a few. And that few is hard to come by. That's right. Today, mother and daughter sit and watch porn together. Mm. Amen. Hey, today, mother bring her boyfriend at home oh, and yeah. share, him share him with the daughter. That's right. Or daughters. Hmm. Father will bring his boyfriend at home huh. and share him with his son. Father, bring a new boyfriend home. Come here, Sam. <laughs> Sam, come here. I want you to meet Oliver. Say hello, Ollie. Oliver. 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 This is accepted. Yes, it is. That's why I was stationed here, Blackout. <laughs> That's right. Because we won't accept it. That's right. That's right. No, we won't accept it. Amen. And because of the stand we're taking, we are hated and jealous of by some of those without and within. Amen. But I ain't moved by neither. Look at you, you Christian nothings. Hmm. When you drive to church, you're listening to the gospel stations, singing, corn up yonder. Then when you get to that church, get some lightsabers, Or some chewing gum. Gum. Amen. Or eat a whole box of Tic Tacs. Amen. On up to the car stand. Mm -hmm. Or on up to the deacon post. That's right. Or on the usher. Amen. A cigar sucking Christian. Some of you watching me got a six pack in your house. Mm -hmm. Beer guzzling. Bible toting Christians. Amen. That's why you can't stand me, and I don't care if you don't. That's right. As long as God got my big, my big mouth in motion, in motion, I'm going to work on you while you're in the land of living. Amen. You see, if I was worried about how folks feel about me, I would preach solely for love. That's right. 
that my concern is the feelings of God. That's right. Whether folk hate us or love us, right. it doesn't matter to us. Amen. If God is pleased with us, that's where I get my satisfaction. Amen. You Christians, Christian. you a Christian, mm. you's a Christian, you are. Mm. Well, look, Christian, how can you be a Christian and you and use a bar dancer? That's right. Sliding down some pole. That's right. Like you work for the fire department. <laughs> Amen. And a rib is sitting out there. Yes, he is. That's right. Taking that dollar, throwing it to you. it. That's right. And you rub red head and got him saying, Jesus. Hmm. You's a Christian? Christian. How'd that come about? Amen. Uh, in my research of the Bible, you're supposed to be a new creature. That's right. So if I'm a new creature, if I have a job mm -hmm. that calls me to break the law of God, mm -hmm. then that job goes beyond my list of sacrifices. That's right. That I will have to make so I can truly walk with God. That's right. The Bible teaches us all things are lawful unto me, but all things not are not expedient. It is lawful to work, but it's right. not expedient to have any type of job. That's right. Men and women, women, you can't work in a Playboy club just like a big rabbit. No way. With a cotton tail. Amen. I can't do that. Walking around serving drinks. That's right. Half naked. Hopping. That's right. And then Sunday, soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Yeah. Soon, no, oh, no, no, no. Soon and very soon, you're going to hell. That's right. That's what that is. It is. This cheap, watered-down religion will keep you a sinner. Amen. You're a Christian. What kind? What kind? I read the Bible. Again, I said. That's right. What kind? That's right. You can go on the bus and find folk reading the Bible with a cigarette in their mouth. Oh, yeah. Is that right? That's right. If you want change, you first must have the will to surrender and submit and make an effort to do that. That's right. You can't talk change. Well, I want to change, but... I'm not ready. What else you want to do? Mm -hmm. Look at yourself, brother. Look at yourself. While I'm talking, bring a mirror. If you got one, set it next to the television. Look at what I'm saying and look at you. Look at you. Why in the world is your eyebrows arched? Amen. Why is your hair dyed? Mm -hmm. Why you got eyebrow pencil on, woman? Mm -hmm. Why do you got fake eyelashes? Why? Why? Why did you get breast implants? That's right. If your husband really loved you, he loved you the way God made you. That's right. You don't need no inner tubes and plastic bottles and rubber tires all stuck on you. Stuck on you. Until you clang and making a bunch of noise. Amen. Am I right? Amen. And holiness, you don't need wigs, toupees. No, no. Take fingernails, hair extensions. That's right. Nail hardener. You don't need that in true holiness. No, no. Your main objective is to be filled with God and stay with Him. That's right. That's the goal. That's right. Stay with Him who said, Abide in my word and my word, abide in Him. That's right. Let's get the head mm -hmm. covered. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 5. Listen. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, what? Dishonoreth her head. 
For that, now the head of every woman is the man. The man. Someone said, no, that's male chauvinistic. No, that's Bible. Bible. That's the Bible right. says. But I would have you know. Listen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 at verse 3. You that didn't know. But I would have you know. Now you that didn't know. That the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman. The head of the woman. Is the man. Now woman. Mm -hmm. Let me say to the man. Before you quote that to the woman. Mm -hmm. Give that woman something worthwhile. That she don't mind respecting as head. That's right. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Right. Listen, I say <laughs> there's a lot of women that would love to respect man mm -hmm. for his position as a man. That's right. Your manhood is not based upon your performance in a bed Amen. or your male anatomy. Mm -hmm. Dogs perform. That's right. That's why so many of them. <laughs> So Amen. many of them, they got us running from them. <laughs> so he had no monopoly. No, no. But the woman would love something worthwhile in the house. That's right. To look up to, honor, and respect, and make a woman feel good when she knows she got a man she can respect. Amen. Amen. Not some hen peck, spineless, watered down, limp wrist. Good for nothing, coward. Yeah. We don't want to do nothing mm -hmm. but go to the bathroom yeah, and That's sit right. around and watch ball games. That's right. And be babied and pet. That's right. Who won't even take responsibilities for his own failures? Amen. They're ready to take credit for her accomplishments. Go ahead. That he had no part taken in. Amen. Yes, the Bible teaches the woman is the weaker vessel, but the woman still is a very strong thing in the earth. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. She's a strong vessel in the earth uh, and an important vessel in the earth because the woman is like a ship. That's right. And is the first one responsible for livestock. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Go ahead. The livestock that she carries is male and female. That's right. And the ship is bringing them to port. In the port. Go ahead. But as the body sail mm -hmm. on water, sail through the troubles of life. Amen. It must watch out for its cargo. That's right. If the ship go too deep in trouble until they're taking water, mm -hmm. she must know how to protect the cargo. That's right. That the cargo don't drown. Okay, go ahead. Woman, the way you raise a child is not wait till it's born. Amen. The way you raise a child is when you find out you can see it is the way you carry your body. That's right. Pregnant, smoking. Not pregnant, drinking. Amen. Not pregnant on the street trying to make money being a hoe. That's right. Talk to me. Amen. That's right. Not pregnant taking opium. Crack. Amen. China ice. Speed. Amen. Uppers and downers. Mm -hmm. I've seen some women go in the store and buy cigars. My Lord. Why do you want to be man, woman? Amen. God has made you a valuable ship. Oh, yeah. Very valuable. The woman is the first teacher of the child. That's right. Man is not the first teacher of the child. That's right. Woman is the first teacher. Woman is the first instructor of the child. Amen. Amen. So, if you want to give your students, your people, good lessons, mm -hmm. 
Learn the wisdom of God that will teach you how to protect and guide your ship while it fails in life. That's right. And then you will teach that cargo how to be respectable, respectable. modest. Hi, you can't teach your child and you slap her and call her a female dog. She's learning that grammar from you. That's right. You can't slap her and tell her why your mother. <laughs> when she grew up, she may in turn call you that. You want, amen. Why? You programmed her. That's right. Oh, yes. That's right. You see, a lot of you parents, my television time has gone, but my radio time, I got a few more minutes. Teaching program children. Amen. And when the streets try to deprogram, mm -hmm. what you already put in, the streets try to substitute. Mm -hmm. You must pull them in the cargo. Right. You see, properly programming your children is proof of protection. That's right. Anytime you sit back and allow your child to be programmed in a way that it cost some brother got the Holy Ghost. Amen. Or say he got it. Amen. Ain't programming your children wrong. Wrong. And you don't do nothing. That's right. And that child go to hell, got off the damn the parent. Amen. Love institutes protection. That's right. You think protection is just this? That's right. Or oh, 45? Yeah. True protection is knowledge. Amen. That's what protection is. That's right. Knowledge. That's right. You don't let your children waste away and run away like rocks. Amen. When you see television, Program a commercial. Listen, have you taken note? Have you ever asked yourself why is commercial so short? Right. The objective is is to just leave a quick impression. That's right. And that impression seduces you. That's right. I tell my wife, don't ever. I never want to hear the words come out of your mouth to me. This is what children are wearing today. Right. I always told my wife that. Mm -hmm. Because I don't care what children are wearing today. This came yesterday. Amen. What children are wearing today, you can't tell the 15 from the 25. That's right. You can't tell a neighborhood hall from a version. Amen. Don't tell me what children are wearing today. I don't raise holes. That's right. I don't raise pimps. I make myself the example for my boys. Amen. It is my job for my wife to be the example to the girls. Go ahead. Children can't tell me or mother what they want to wear. You wear what we put on you. Amen. Until you get a job and take care of yourself. That's it. And buy for yourself. That's right. You may tell me, you know, Dad, I like that blouse. I like that coat. I like those shoes. Mm -hmm. You may like whatever you see. Amen. But my judgment with divine principle first goes above all liking. That's right. Sometimes they ask my daughters, why do y'all have y'all hair covered? I tell my daughter, just tell them it is our religious belief. Amen. If they ask you, what is your religion? It's holiness. Yeah. What is holiness? Meaning to obey God. Right. What did God tell you to do? Everything that's right. Amen. I it in a nutshell. What 
did God tell you to do? Everything that's right. That's right. Everything. Now let me say to you parents. The teacher. You know, one time they was talking about having a, I believe they call it a big brother thing here. <laughs> The law of God. God is the greatest. A big brother thing. How in the world can we be big brothers to children right. when you can't be brothers to brothers? Amen. Impossible. Amen. Impossible. Amen. How in the world can you be a big brother? A big brother. So then that's a big hypocrite. Not even qualified to be a big brother to a child. That's something. You're not qualified to be a big brother. Amen. And so you're able to be a real brother to your own brother. That's right. Otherwise, I'm not back off from the children. That's right. And let them alone. Amen. Let them alone. Amen. To give them advice. You're not qualified and give them instructions. How can you show a man love when you can't show your fellow man love? That's right. Quick. Right. Big brother is a big liar. That's why folk don't like me. I got a big mouth. Amen. So you can be a brother to these young men. You first must be brother to brothers. That's right. You can't be brothers to brothers. Stay away from me, young boys. Back off. That's right. Leave them alone. That's Don't right. Take them to no lunch, no breakfast, no dinner, no nothing. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Amen. And I mean it. And you parents, don't let them. A brother is a hypocrite and can't even be a real tough brother to brothers. Back that man off from your children. Amen. Or I'm going to get the parent in front of the children. Amen. You're not going to kill my young fuckies. Amen. Amen. No man follow me will kill my sons. Amen. I have begotten them to what I preach. Amen. You're going to have to go through me first. Before I let you drop poison on them. Go ahead. And if the mothers and fathers ain't got sense enough to protect their children, then I'll preach sense into them. That's right. You don't stand by and let your children get slaughtered and killed. If a brother got your sons and needs to bring them back home, don't take for granted that the brother had a whole this conversation. Listen to that child. That's right. If you know that devil is fertile, that's right. What did he talk to you about? Did he talk about any brother to you? Did he talk against leadership? Did he down your pastor? Did he talk against the church? Well, he said, break off. Amen. Break off. We're going to make him hard to do. Amen. My young sister, before you entrust your daughters in the hands of another sister, know where you're investing your time. Good teacher. Are you listening? Good teacher. That's what the Holy Ghost brought here. Amen. It's good too, man. Amen. Not some big brother. <laughs> big brother. I never heard of so much foolishness in all the days of my old life. How can we big be, be, be imagine this? I'm a say I'm a big brother mm -hmm. to a young brother about sixteen or seventeen. And yet his actions are more mature than mine. He needs to be my big brother. 
That's right. Reverse it. That's right. These young sisters is going to be among other young sisters have righteousness around them. Something to help them to develop. Not walk around and think you above them. You know, you got some of these sisters who may be in their little twenties or thirties and talk to some other sister. Listen, you may be 35. Another sister may be 20. Mm -hmm. But she's still a grown woman. You don't talk to her like she's a little girl. She's still a grown woman. If you have respect, give it. If you can't get it, back off. Amen. Well, she's just a baby to me. And you only 30 something? How much older are you? That's right. Not that much older. And some say, well, you see, they, they hard -headed. They don't take instructors. How do you give them? That's right. See, some folks don't know how to give Amen. instructions. And when you give them wrong, most time they are received wrong. That's right. Boy, we got a lot to learn. Yes, we do. Are you listening? Amen. Something don't reach. And brothers don't reach. Of other brothers and sisters. What you mean? Don't take advantage of them. That's right. Don't be busy by another people matter. Speak what you know. Don't be jealous of nobody. That's right. Anything they have. If they got it, that's their business. Don't be jealous of them. You ask, how do they get this? How do they get that? You have to know their call. Amen. Uh, brother Brooks pulled up in a 1957 Bentley. Vintage. Hmm. They go to book. Now, how in the world you could you afford that? I don't see how. Well, how is none of your business? That's right. And the thing about it, you ain't got to do the explanation. Hmm. Lose it. Amen. Oh, lose it about me. Oh, yeah. Very much so. As someone put out a line and said, at home I live in, Brother Evans bought it for me. They lied on you, Chuck. Amen. They lied on Chuck. They got a twisted wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. They lied on Chuck. My Lord. Hypocrite. That's something. Want to know, Pastor Jenny? Here am I. 